Of all the birds I've observed over the years, blue jays are one of the funnest and coolest to me. Here are five reasons I think blue jays are pretty fun and cool. Now some may not agree with my list and that's perfectly fine, but please let myself and others enjoy. I should add that I only listed five in this video, but there are many more reasons I can think of, which I'll likely explore in a future video. Without further ado, let's begin. Enjoy! From my experience, blue jays are one of the few birds I know, quite willing, almost like they are born to do it, to catch peanuts in the air. I discovered this very early on when I first started forming a relationship with my jays. This clip is from early fall 2011, the year I began birding. For whatever reason, it's just a natural response to them. Almost every blue jay I know catches peanuts. In fact, my closest buddies will even open their beak in anticipation of me throwing a peanut to them. And that's pretty fun and cool, don't you think? I do need to mention though that I have managed to train other wild birds to do this too, such as crows. But no one does it quite like these guys. Just look at them go. Not many birds are blue in color, and for a spot like my little island, well, they are the only blue-colored birds here, which makes them, or at least it should make them, quite special. The blue color isn't a result of pigmentation like other colors, such as red and yellow. Instead, it's a result of how light interacts with the inner structures of their feathers. The blue wavelengths are reflected back to our eyes. They are actually grayish or brownish in color, which can easily be seen by backlighting a feather. Pretty neat, huh? What's more, their flight feathers display a few different shades of blue, and the black markings make them, to my mind at least, sort of resemble stained glass. What a cool bird. Blue jays belong to the corvette family, a very smart family of birds that includes crows, jays, ravens, magpies, and so on. Often they are referred to as feathered apes. Many have been observed using tools in captivity, and one crow species, Caledonian crows, makes and uses tools in the wild. Ravens have been known to wait for ice fishermen to leave and then haul up their fishing line to steal the fish. But back to the blue jay. Although wild ones haven't been observed using tools, captive jays have, as a 1973 study showed. The researchers deliberately put food pellets just out of reach from a hungry blue jay's cage. Being the clever birds blue jays are, the bird tore a strip of newspaper from the bottom of the cage, crumpled it with feet and bill, and used the paper to rake and sweep the food pellets into reach. On other occasions, the same bird used a feather, a thistle, a piece of straw grass, a paper clip, and a plastic bag tie to reach food. The other jays in the captive colony subsequently learned to use tools to reach food. They learned from each other. There's no doubt that they are pretty clever. I've seen wild blue jays looking in the tubulars of pitcher plants, a carnivorous plant, for insects. I think that's pretty clever. Also, blue jays that I know very well and have named actually seem to respond to their name. Sweet girl. What? Blue. I have tested it over and over and it does certainly seem like to me that they are responding to their names, but I could be wrong. Given that I've known some individuals like Blue and Sweet Girl and Hermoso for over seven years, I don't think it's too much of a stretch to suggest that they have learned their name. After all, I have spent many hours a day with them over the years. Any bird that can trick you into thinking a hawk is around or a cat is pretty cool. 
And Blue Jays are pretty good mimics, capable of mimicking red shoulder hawks, sharp shinned hawks, merlins, and other birds of prey, and even meowing cats. Just check out Flop the Blue Jay imitating a meowing cat. He's way too cute. I have actually been out in the woods and convinced I was hearing a sharp shinned hawk only to find out that it was a blue jay. Birds that can imitate that good are pretty darn cool birds. I've also heard them imitate the caw of a crow. Not a very good video, but I think you should be able to hear it. And people have reported that captive blue jays have imitated cell phone ringtones, human whistles, and words. I can't tell you how many times I've cracked up laughing while watching the jays doing their thing. The things they do sometimes is just so funny. Or maybe I'm just a little crazy. Hmm. Anyway, I'm not sure what it is with them, but watching how they fight with each other, the way they bob up and down, which is super serious to them, and just their actions alone sometimes is so funny. No birds have made me laugh like these guys. I honestly can't understand for the life of me how people hate such an entertaining bird like the blue jay, but I digress. Fun birds and that's that. So there's my five reasons I find blue jays one of the coolest birds, but I'm interested to hear from you. What do you find cool about blue jays? And what one of the five I listed did you enjoy the most? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed, and, and a big thank you to all who supported my last shirt campaign, Bird Nerd. Until next time, happy birding.